Sleepy going in, lively coming out. They be wondering what we talking about. What's happening, boxing YouTube world? This is Nocturnal Thoughts, man. With Nocturnal Boxing After Dark. Yo, great fight. Phenomenal fight. First and foremost, I applaud both fighters. I take my hat off to both fighters for putting on an excellent performance. And congratulations to Terrence Bud Crawford, who came out victorious. Tenth round stoppage of Sean Showtime Porter. I believe his ring stopped. I think Kenny Porter waved off the fight after the second knockdown. Now, I will say there was a little bit of some Ivan Redcatch acting performance going on from Sean Porter after the second knockdown. He showed a lot of frustration. I do believe his was genuine frustration. You know, him pounding on the mat, I think that was more genuine more authentic than Ivan Redcatch, which Ivan Redcatch was, was obviously was just a performance to get out of the fight. You know what I'm saying? From a low blow. But Showtime Sean Porter, um, you know, he can't hang his head low from this performance. I thought that um, he did everything that Sean Porter is expected to do. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was watching Sean Porter to see if he was going to be Sean Porter. You know what I mean? And he did everything. He he showed everything that he had in his tool bag. It just was not enough for the level and skill set of Terrence Bud Crawford. But I wasn't disappointed in Sean Porter's attempt to be able to, you know, um, uh, just out hustle Terrence Bud Crawford. He just was. He just didn't have. It. He just didn't have anything for him. You know, it was some, it was some things that I seen from Sean Porter that made me say he gave his best effort. They just were negated, completely negated by Terrence Bud Crawford's footwork, his uh, instincts, his, his defense and his offense. I think Terrence Bud Crawford fought the perfect fight against Sean Porter. Uh, it was one move where Sean Porter came, he switched, he, he stepped over, he stepped over again, and it was fast, and then he came forward. And Terrence Bud Crawford just moved once. So for Sean Porter to move three times, all Terrence Bud Crawford had to do was move one time, pivot out, come around with a hook, and hit Sean Porter behind the head. It was it was brilliant. It was another move where Sean Porter rushed in, and he just checked uh, Terrence Bud Crawford just checked hooked him into the corner, very similar to Money Mayweather versus Ricky Hatton. You know the bull the bull just come charging in, you just move out the way, catch him coming in. Send him into the ropes. And Terrence Bud Crawford was spot on, sharp shooting all night long. He kept his distance perfect. It, yeah, there were some times where Sean Porter was able to get him on the ropes and maul him a little bit. And Terrence Bud Crawford just worked the clinch very well. He worked the clinch well, and then he would break back out and get at a perfect distance to keep Sean Porter at the end of his punches, where all of his power was generated right at the end of his punches. And he just pretty much tagged him up. Uh, all all night long and um, they both put on a phenomenal display Terrence Bud Crawford uh, he did impress me with the stoppage you know I wanted to go I picked the underdog because picking the underdog in a fight like this just makes me more interested but we all know that Terrence Bud Crawford was was highly favored to win this fight um, and my only thing was a lot of people were saying Man, he's going to stop him. He's going to stop him. He's going to knock him out. And I said, man, Sean Porter hasn't been knocked out. He was knocked down by Adrian Broner. Very similar to the way Terrence Bud Crawford sat him. I mean, yeah, Terrence Bud Crawford sat him down. Almost identical to the way Adrian Broner sat him down. The difference is, uh, Sean Porter had been dominating that A-B fight. But in this fight against Terrence Bud Crawford, he had been getting worn down and tattooed up all night long. So when he got sat down in that fight... You can see the fatigue setting in and the frustration setting in when he got back up. You could almost foresee another knockdown coming. Um, but um, I didn't see him getting stopped. Matter of fact, I still think that the fight could have continued. I think you could have let him fight. There was nothing Sean Porter could have done to win that fight 
past that situation and he was out of the fight completely. The fight, the, the, the separation, the margin between him trying to close that gap and, and make up for any grounds was in, was impossible. But I felt like you could have let that fight continue. I think Sean Porter would have continued on his feet or go out on his shield. But I don't, I don't, I didn't see that Sean Porter was so hurt or discombobulated to where he couldn't continue the fight. But I'll watch the fight again to see if I saw what Kenny Porter saw. I saw that Sean Porter was still a live dog in the fight, just didn't have the opportunity to to win the fight. Anyways, uh, Terrence Bud Crawford showed his ability to just completely um, outthink and outbox a true welterweight for, for the 12 rounds, you know what I'm saying, or for the 10 rounds that it lasted. And that's what impressed me the most. My only questions was, you know, if you had a guy really pushing him uh, past the abilities of Agitas Kavalaskas, would he still be able to maintain his abilities on the second half of the fight? And he proved that with his footwork, um, with his the way he was able to have the ring generalship and control the pace of the fight, he proved that right now, hands down, top, top dog at the welterweight division. Top. Very top of the welterweight division. I don't see anybody causing him any problems. That's including Errol Spence Jr. as well. Now, when I think about it, I got to think about like two years ago, hypothetically, a prime Errol Spence versus Terrence Bud Crawford, how my mind might be changed by this performance towards that. As far as the future, I just don't see that fight even coming to fruition. I know that's going to be the hot topic, but like I said before, I just don't think that fight's going to happen. And to be honest, um, even if it was to happen, something I heard, I even heard some stuff talking about it was kind of mandated for them to fight now. And if that's the case, that's going to be interesting because I just don't know what kind of version of Errol Spence we get after uh, the layoff, the car crash, one fight with Danny Garcia, the eye retina tear, and another layoff. And he's going to come in and it, I don't know if they're going to talk about fighting a tune-up fight or if he's going to go straight into the Terrence Bud Crawford fight. Either way, um, with the fight that Terrence Bud Crawford displayed last night, it makes me lean towards him to have won even in, in Errol Spence's prime before all the incidents happened. Now, after the incidents happening, um, I don't see that. I don't see right now that Errol Spence will be able to beat Terrence Bud Crawford. And I said for years, for the last year and a half, two years, that I thought Errol Spence would come out on top. But a lot changes in two years. A lot changes in two years. If they have to fight, that would be an interesting fight to go into the ins and outs and the ebbs and flows of the possibilities. But I'm just going to say right now, based off the performance that Terrence Bud Crawford put on Sean Porter in other fights, you know, all of his fights, even the ones I felt like he had tremendous advantages in, the way he was able to still display those abilities in this fight against Sean Porter, um, and I look at Errol Spence Jr., I really, not to go too deep into it, but I don't see Errol Spence being the favorite in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Not from my point of view. I see Terrence Bud Crawford right now um, reigning supreme. And I know a lot of people have been saying that forever. And this validates that for them. And I, boom, I salute you guys who have been diehard. And I still will rock with Errol Spence, period. I never had anything against Terrence Bud Crawford or Errol Spence. I just like boxers. And at the end of the day, uh, I like I like the warrior mentality. And they showing me a warrior mentality is respect. You dig what I'm saying? So if Errol Spence shows me that warrior mentality and he comes and fights Terrence Bud Crawford, and he leaves it in the ring, win, lose, or draw, he still will have my respect. I started to, you know, really question Errol Spence when he was making decisions that to me would, would jeopardize him and put him in the position that he's in right now, and he continued to make those decisions. But we'll see. I still get, I still take, um, I still give him a lot of credit, and I still think a lot of people are, are um, you know, in, I don't know what's the word to explain it, but they just don't give him no they, they take, when you look at a boxer, you completely take away the hum, the humane side and you just look at, he's just a boxer. He's just, but the people are human and nobody's perfect. So no boxer is perfect. 
Now, when I look at it like that, yes, he's made some mistakes outside of the ring that you can criticize. Inside the ring, he's still been pretty perfect. But you've seen him kind of take shortcuts and take... Um, he's, he's showing deterioration. He showed a little bit of chinks in the armor in his last fight against Danny Garcia. And we know he's been in a, a horrendous accident. And now we know his body is breaking down with uh, eye detachment. Shows that he's going to have an uphill, up mountain climb. And then to be waiting at the top of that mountain is Terrence Bud Crawford. That's a lot. But I ain't going to hold y'all for this video, man, because I know a lot of people going to be talking about this conversation. And, you know, I'm just going to tune in and check it out. But Aaron, but Terrence Bud Crawford, uh, I salute, man. Bow, bow, bow. Take my head off. It was a great, great, great fight. A perfect fight. Um, I was impressed. I was impressed with the footwork alone, the durability, um, the mentality. Um, he never lost his cool. He stayed strong. He stayed focused. There's no hype. There's no moment where I felt like Terrence Bud Crawford was, uh, 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 you know, a hype job. He showed true welterweight domination through and through that whole entire fight, and I was impressed. And uh, against Sean Porter, Sean Porter Duff. Tough, durable, never was in a boring fight, and he didn't let down. I didn't see Sean Porter really take his foot off the gas. I thought Sean Porter, what I was really looking for is, is to see if Sean Porter was going to be like a, trying to make this a friendly fight, uh, just a, a, a exhibition type of a, you know what I'm saying, who could. I, Sean Porter came in there for war, and he came in there for battle, and uh, he just came up short. Um, and he just lost to a better man. And that's all I wanted to see. Let the best man win. And the best man won in a very phenomenal way. This is Nocturnal Thoughts, man. I know y'all enjoyed that fight. Uh, I will eat my crow. I did pick Sean Porter, but if you listen to my follow-up, my lead-up to this fight, I picked Sean Porter only to make the fight more interesting for me. I said the whole time that most likely, I mean, Terrence Buck Crawford's going to win this. Um, I just didn't think he was going to knock him out in the way that he did knock him out. But I didn't think he was going to be able to knock him down multiple times in the way that he did. Uh, he stayed on the back foot and just clipped Sean Porter all night. Um, countered him all night. Um, outboxed him in every single way. Brilliant performance. Brilliant performance. Knocked through the thought was impressed, man. I'm gone. Salute. 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 Peace. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe. Holla back. Knocked through the thoughts. I'm gone. <laughs>